Hey friends, it's Nitya with Nitya Living. And today I thought we would look at the chart of Elon Musk. I mentioned him briefly in the Johnny Depp Amber Heard video because apparently they had an affair. It's also rumored that he fathered her daughter. Um, have to say it's interesting that they are both born on the day of a monkey. So I imagine it was a very fun and playful, short-lived romance. He's got an interesting chart, maybe not as interesting as you would think. And um, this is somebody that I could totally see is born in, on the day of a monkey because he's got that mischievous kind of wouldn't you like to know what I'm thinking look on his face sometimes and monkeys if anything are tricksters jokesters and like to have fun they like to mix things up that explains why he is diversified in so many different projects um so let's let's dial back all right so um, born on a yin metal pig year, a yang wood horse month, and a yang wood monkey day, a yin fire rabbit hour. Okay, so when we look at those four pillars and then we add to that, um, And so we're looking at that in relation to the five elements, okay? And with the five elements, just like in nature, just like in Chinese medicine, if you go to an acupuncturist who is, you know, practicing qi and the balance of the meridians, the balance of the organs of the body that are all related to the elements, okay? So many layers to this. Um, and we want to see balance. Uh, we've seen, I've talked about some people with lots of imbalance. I've talked about people, I've put out videos about people that are missing an element. I have no wood in my chart. Um, wood is related to the spleen and liver, and those are my weakest organs. It's interesting how uh, my health always relates back to that. Anyway, so... As a wood person, he is exceptionally strong. He's about 35% his own element. What nourishes him? Being wood, what nourishes him? Water, of course. Water nourishes plants. He is a yang wood person, so he's like a mighty tree. Very strong, strong, strong. Um, but very little water, just 10%. Um, what he produces is balanced, kind of strong at 27%. And that's, but, you know, boosted by the fact that he's born in the month of fire, which is the horse. So that's why that element is stimulated in his chart. His earth is very weak, which is interesting. Earth is what a wood person controls. It's your money. Um, interesting that somebody's so wealthy has very weak money element and metal is balanced at 15%. Now, if you look at the industries he's involved in, because um, industries also represent different elements. So when you look at finance, when you look at um, anything having to do with the transaction of money, like investing, that is a metal related action and um, an industry. When you look at technology, when you look at space, all of these things naturally um, are feeding his metal element, which is the element that controls him, again, him being a, a wood person and metal is of course what controls. 
So that all of the work that he does, the car industry, um, AI, um, engineering, inventing, all of this stuff, it's metal. It's really interesting. It's interesting to me what a person intuitively is attracted to. And sometimes we're intuitively drawn to replace the element that is weakest in us, almost as if we sense that weakness and we want to we want to find balance. Our, we intuitively are guided to balance. Other times, people's charts are so out of balance that they lean into that even more. It's just kind of interesting to observe. Now, his life pillar. Now, I don't know if I've mentioned a life pillar, and I used to not even include these in my astrology readings because it's a hidden part of your chart that reveals why you're here. I had to kind of wrestle with that a little bit. That's some powerful information to be given, not to be taken lightly. Why are you here? Wow. Sometimes the answer can be brutal. Some people are born into this life for really hard lessons and to burn out some serious karma. Now, his life is a yang fire monkey, which is interesting that he is also a monkey, which means that he is directly living out personally to him his life mission. That does not typically happen. And um, I don't know that I saw. Oh, no. Um, that um, his life is all about creating. And not just creating, but creating, being motivated, being active, being engaged in his life in a way that brings him joy. I think this guy really enjoys what he does. And that burst of fire in his life is also about just enjoying life and living it up. And Lord knows being born in the year of a pig what pigs love to do best, shop, spend money, live the decadent life, and do a good enough job that you can kick back at the end, feed up on your own yacht, sailing out into the Caribbean. Not so bad. The monkey aspect is interesting because that monkey for him, which is also not just his life story, but his romance story. And you look at the women he's been with. I know he was married, he had a wife and children with her. And then there's been some interesting relationships. I was actually thinking there was going to be a rat in this story for sure. The rat, um, rabbit, funky town that I saw show up in Johnny Depp's chart before around the time he got married. So this is really challenging. Now for his life pillar, I would say this is very much shows his life is all about his work and what his work is, is challenging. This isn't like somebody that goes into a job to mop floors, goes into a job to crunch numbers. This is a guy that is innovating and doing hard work. He's being challenged. Um, he's got to protect his reputation, his position constantly. Okay, so this isn't like an easy path that he's got in this life. And 
within that, um, there is mention of his father. I don't know anything about his home, his family life, but the one relate well, two actually, any sons that he has will play an integral role in the journey of his life going forward. And his father, not so much, but it is mentioned. And in his life, there will always be money flowing in from all kinds of different directions. This is from investments, inheritances, windfalls. Kind of like somebody going out and buying a lottery or buying a business that turns out to be PayPal. <laughs> Who thought that? Um, his life is about learning, about education. Um, could also be a spiritual life. Um, it also could have something to do with government and banking. Again, PayPal. <laughs> so it's interesting how, and, and again, the monkey aspect, this is a life that is diverse. It is swinging from vine to vine. It is dynamic. It is, um, requires that he is multitasking, running multiple businesses. He loves this, thrives on it. And, um, yeah, this is a guy that came into this life to do hard work. And when you think about the things that he has done in his life, it is pretty phenomenal. Um, He's doing things for the future. And he is kind of a person that's ahead of the times. Monkeys are people that like to solve problems. Um, problems, puzzles, detective work, um, understanding things, pulling things apart. Um, yeah, and with a great sense of humor. Um, so then we're looking at, um, the fact that he's got this weakness of earth and a weakness of water. And so we're looking for especially water to show up to help him with being successful. And, um, and so I decided to go back and do a, like a timeline to see exactly what was going on um, that was helping him along because this again, isn't a chart that screams money. So what happened? Where did it all go right? Where for other, somebody else it might've all gone wrong or just fallen flat. There's plenty of ordinary lives out there. And there's nothing wrong with an ordinary life. Breathing in, breathing out, having a job, having a family, having fun, just an ordinary life, right? Um, so he was born in South Africa in June of 1971. And he moved um, to Canada when he was 17 years old. Interestingly, that was the year 1988, when he shifted into a new luck cycle. And I've talked about luck cycles are determined by your birthday. And we all go through these 10 year cycles. Um, I believe his first one was at the age of seven, which showed that he had a nice long period with his mom. And that I kind of consider the first energy shift that invisible umbilical cord between the mother and the child separating. The longest obviously you can go in a 10 year luck cycle is nine years. Um, and the shortest would be pretty much at birth. I've seen people who have had charts that um, where they that separation happened in infancy. And that can signal all kinds of things from 
maybe the mother having postpartum depression or um, being a, the infant being very sick. Um, it can also signal a child being adopted, abandoned. Maybe uh, the father or the mother left as the child was being born, that there was a, a break. So um, when we look at that time in his life, that he moved to Canada and in that decade also went to college in Pennsylvania to learn business and make sure I have that right, business and physics. Um, so cool, because this guy really is, he's, he is science and he is finance and he is an incredible businessman. So when we look at this, that, that luck cycle from the ages of 16 to 25, he is in a period of yang water dragon. And what did I just say that he needed for success? Water. Because he already has a balanced amount of metal. So that surge of, of water, really good for him. Um, this is the support that came in, the water support that came in. And this was all about school, all about his studies. I believed he was in school for like five years or something. Um, also during this time is mentioned making money. Um, and this is money not earned, but gained maybe from a loan, maybe from a scholarship, maybe from um, family, right? So this is like mm, kind of like gifted or extra money. And maybe he was working some side jobs. His father was playing a really big role and some mention of his mother as well. Um, it was a time for him of dating it was a time of um, dealing with some legal things and losing some money, gaining some money. Um, then the where it starts to get interesting is 1998, 26 years old. He moves into a yin, yin metal rabbit period. Now, this was interesting because this entered into a void time. Now, what are voids? That's an interesting question. First, we have to recognize that the rabbit combined with his pig makes more wood, which is, again, directly nourishing him. Really important that your element stays strong so that you are here, right? If, you're, if your day element gets snuffed out, you're no longer on the planet. So, um or there might be some really strange condition in your chart, some exceptional condition. So in this period, daughters were foretold. Um, this was a time of potential loss of income, loss of money, maybe investments going wrong at first or things along that line. It was all about launching his career. Now, this was also mentioning family, it's mentioning daughters, um, very busy, demanding time for him. Now, in 1999 is when he bought PayPal. 2002, he founded SpaceX and then Tesla in 2003. And you know, he is like the number one designer engineer for those cars. I mean, this guy is a genius. Um, the other thing, so Going back to the idea of voids, voids are kind of like the Western astrology's version of a moon void, of course. It's a time of being cautious and recognizing things are going to take a longer period of time to manifest. Things are not quick. There's a lot of obstacles um, to reach your goal. It can be a frustrating time. And so all of that is going on during this pivotal time of his career. And then we get to 2008, 
where he moves into a Yang metal tiger. And this is a time where, again, we've got that metal surging in. Um, metal is really focused on the career and what is going on with his career during this time. Lots is happening. This is really where he is building momentum. And as he's building momentum and he's diversifying, there's more challenges. There's way more challenges. This is a time of really coming into his own, finding himself. But again, this is another void, the tiger. And as a void, it's challenging him. It's challenging him to look at himself to find his confidence, to network, to collaborate, to partner, all of these things. But it's not with ease. This guy had to work really hard to get there. And then um, within this, there is all this creative juice flowing. It's wild. And there's marriage in here, there's relationships, there's buying and selling property, there's financial flow going on. Now, the interesting thing here is that this tiger decade from when he was 36 until he was 45, which is essentially 2008 to 2018, he was getting a surge of both wood and fire, which meant what nourishes him and keeps him strong in himself, as well as all that he's creating. All this is being jazzed up, but this is the thing that's so cool. The tiger is Yang Wood. He's born on the day of Yang Metal. Tiger is Yang Wood, monkey is Yang Metal. This is a conflict. Now, conflicts can do two things. They can cut you down or they can break something open. So, if you look at what is hiding inside the tiger, I'm sorry, inside his, his monkey, right? So, as the, this tiger energy surges in and causes this conflict, within that himself, that, that monkey energy is money. And this, my friends, is like a pinata. It is a pinata not only of financial flowing in, and this is like investments where you invest in a company and turn around and sell it for billions, right? And he's, this is what he's been doing. It is also, um, the energy of um, we're getting like alliances with um, government programs or banks or things along those lines. All of that is going on. And it's all wrapped around his career. In this instance, even with a void and a direct hit to his day pillar, this guy hit the jackpot. It's so amazing. And this is like the happenstance, right? The randomness of life, but is it random? Because again, you look to his life pillar, this is what he came to do. So that's an interesting piece for sure. Where he is in his life right now, starting 2018 to 2028 is a yin earth ox. And the yin earth ox is all money. This is like yin earth over yin earth and earth for him is what he controls as a yang wood person. And this is big money, just earning directly earning big money. And this is also about property. It's about travel, space travel. It's about um, being in great health. It's like the prime of his life. 
It's about relationships. I guarantee by 2028, he's going to be married again. If you can nail down a monkey, they do like to move around. Um, in this decade, as mentioned, his mother, it's mentioned daughters, it's mentioning um, legal stuff, because Lord knows when you have that much money, there's a lot of legal things. It's also like politics, you know, managing all the pol political things. Um, beautiful time in this guy's life. Such, so rich, so rich in all the ways. So, so amazing. Um, yeah, so I believe I had pulled up. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. I was looking at that. So when he goes into 2028, um, he'll be ages 56 to 65. This guy ever going to retire? Who knows? He might just be having too much fun. And that's when indirect income starts returning. And, you know, like I said, this period he's in now is just direct flow. But that next decade is more about um, indirect. It's all those investments paying off, uh, inheritances. There's, um, and the rat is yin water. Hmm, yeah. It's more legal stuff, taking care of business. It's um, also that next decade is the deck is the rat and he's born in the hour of the rabbit. So starting in 2028 to 2038, he needs to be very, very careful about his relationships because there could be something really twisted that plays out for him. It is a punishment. Um, this is like a black widow that comes in. Um, somebody that takes him on a twisted ride, funky town, yeah. So um, I wanted to mention uh, a little bit about this guy's personality too, beyond you know being a monkey and a pig, um, is that he is an innovator, an inventor, creative genius, engineer, architect, so creative, so innovative. He has so much support in his life. Like when you look at his relationship with his dad, his, it should, I, I, again, I don't know his family story, but in his chart, he shows up as Yang Wood, an equal, a friend, a buddy. And his mother shows up as yin fire. Again, this is, you know, the month of the horse. And this is a woman who is intuitive and smart and I would imagine very unique, very unique person. And she's a provider. She, you know, supports him, has supported him, I should say, with things like finances and property and giving him a good home, things like that. But more than anything, um, she's a character, somebody that's kind of rebellious in her own way. Um, he is a planner. Elon is a coordinator. He's organized and he is steady. This guy has got it going on. Um, he can be kind of stubborn and have a fixed mindset. Um, oh, and the other thing is that I thought was interesting. You know, when you see people that are this wealthy and doing this, this well in life, he's honest. He's got a really great work ethic. And um, and, he's, and he works hard. He is a dedicated man and he works really, really hard. And he, he, that's where he's gotten his success, his diligence. 
He also um, is very competitive and very independent. He is a natural leader and does not like to be told what to do. A little bit of that monkey I'm seeing there. And his emotions are like how he emotionally reacts um, can trip him up. That might be his Achilles heel is, you know, when he gets pushed in a corner, how he reacts kind of thing. Um, and he can be self-centered and a little aloof. But, um, wow. And you know, the thing that's amazing, the year of the pig, pigs, everybody gets along with a pig. Everybody loves a pig. Um, they make friends really easily. And they're very easygoing, laid back people. And so when you have, you know, it's interesting when you look at the balance between a person's year and a person's day, you really don't want to see a conflict because that's somebody that's self-conflicted. It's always great to see where the two animals work together. Okay. So in this case, you've got the fun, goofy spirit of a monkey met with the easygoing, laid back, luxury loving pig and the two of them together makes for a really interesting person. Um, anyway, I hope that you've enjoyed this deep dive into Elon Musk's chart and um, feel free to post any uh, questions you might have or comments. Remember to subscribe and like this. Um, I really appreciate that. And trying to keep, you know, comments as positive as you can. I do, you know, criticism is great, but keep it clean, keep it nice. And, um, oh, I also wanted to tell you, I am a teacher on Insight Timer, which is a free meditation app. I have some um, wonderful journal prompts there, guided meditations. I even have a few lullabies for children. Um, so if you want to check out Insight Timer, that's a cool one. I also um, have finally dug out of the pile of uh, astrology chart orders that I got in May. Um, so I'm receiving new new orders again. If you go to Knit Your Living, the Feng Shui astrology page, you can order your own Chinese astrology reading. Thank you so much. Be well.